Here we are a week and a half before the first full weekend of college football, and we have a pretty good idea now of who will lead the top three teams in the state of Georgia as we have an idea now of what will happen to quarterback as the Yellow Jackets in Atlanta, Georgia Tech, announced that Haynes King would be their starting quarterback on Tuesday. And, you know, it's kind of ironic that the three main college football teams, Georgia, Georgia Tech, and Georgia Southern, and, of course, the Atlanta Falcons, have new starting quarterbacks for 2023. Of course, the Falcons with Desmond Ritter, we knew when he was drafted in the third round a year and a half ago that he would probably be the heir apparent at quarterback. They had Marcus Mariota there for a while, and, of course, that didn't work out. But he was a bridge to get to Desmond Ritter, and now we know that Ritter is the man for the job. Now, last week in their exhibition game, the Falcons allowed Ritter to only have 17 snaps, which I have questioned because it's kind of weird. I mean, it's not a big deal for Patrick Mahomes to get significant playing time at quarterback in the preseason, and yet – we can't see more of Desmond Ritter, who needs to have more time and to build chemistry and to get a little fluidity with his offense, particularly with his two main receivers, Drake London and Kyle Pitts. But Arthur Smith, the head coach, just doesn't want to take the risk of getting Desmond Ritter hurt. So he'll be the starting quarterback when they open the season on September the 11th against the Carolina Panthers. Then for Georgia, Carson Beck was named as the starter this past Saturday by Kirby Smart. No big surprise. We knew that Carson had had a great spring had a great G-Day game, and was the real heir apparent to Stetson Bennett in that position. Brock Vandegriff and Gunnar Stockton have both had good camps for the Bulldogs, but it's no question that it's Carson Beck's job. And he has a lot of tall shoes to fill, of course, with Stetson Bennett leaving after two straight national championships. But Carson Beck's a tall kid who was a great high school player down in Jacksonville, and he has around him elite talent at the wide receiver spot, and of course, the best tight end in the country in Brock Bowers, which should help him out. As for Georgia Tech and Haynes King, who was named on Tuesday as the starting quarterback by new head coach Brent Key, well, it's a little bit of a surprise. Many people thought Zach Pyron would be the starting quarterback. Zach Gibson also in the competition, but King, who was a transfer from Texas A&M, really showed command of the offense and really showed some stability from reports out of Atlanta. And that's why Brent Key and the new offensive coordinator, Buster Faulkner, and quarterback coach Chris Winkie decided to go with Haynes King. So it'll be interesting to see how he leads the offense when Tech takes the field next Friday night against Louisville. And then in Statesboro, Georgia Southern, we've known for a while that, that Davis Brand, the transfer from Tulsa, was going to be the uh, heir apparent to Kyle Von Treese. Coach Helton made that decision back in spring practice, so that's no surprise. So the Falcons and Georgia, Georgia Tech, Georgia Southern all have brand new quarterbacks, and we'll see how they do when the season starts because, as we know, whether it's in the NFL or college football, it all kind of revolves around what happens behind the center. <laughs> 